hey guys what's up this is Manas and today we'll be implementing the methods that we have learned in the previous three tutorials so the question goes like this the foci of an ellipse are 90 mm apart and the minor axis is 65 mm long determine the length of the major axis and draw half the ellipse by concentric circles method and other half by oblong method all right so in an ellipse we have two fixed points which are referred to as focus so uh, we have focus 1 and focus 2 and the distance between them is 90 millimeters apart from this we have this minor axis now minor axis is generally represented by cd caps lock cd and it is equal to 65 millimeters so this over here f1 and f2 s foci and the distance between them is 90 millimeters whereas the length of minor axis is 65 millimeters now guys remember i'll be using this notation i mean uh, in my pre in my upcoming lectures also as far as ellipse is concerned a b will represent the ends of major axis whereas c d is going to represent the end of ends of minor axis okay the next thing to do is we're gonna draw this horizontal line all right now this horizontal line is going to be 90 millimeters long and the two ends of this line are going to represent the two focus all right and i'm gonna write here this is going to be focus 1, F1 and over here I'll write F2 now at the center of the line this horizontal line lies the minor axis and the length of minor axis is 65 millimeters that means it is going to be 32.5 above and 32.5 below and this point is what you call point C and this over here is what you call point D now the next thing is to locate point A somewhere here and point B somewhere here that is the ends of major axis and on getting these uh, points A and B we can easily construct the ellipse alright and we have been asked to construct the ellipse half ellipse by oblong method and the other half by concentric circles method alright uh, but for doing so we need to first find and locate end point A end point B and for doing so listen to this carefully now there is a very popular relationship between uh, the major axis and uh, uh, my the minor axis please uh, listen to this relationship and uh, please uh, if it is pos possible uh, then note it down cf1 is equal to half of ab that is half of ab now if i take uh, some other ellipse i'll show you now let us for say for example i take this ellipse all right this relation this length over here cf1 is equal to half of major axis that is from o till a all right c f1 is equal to o a so that and we have this point c we have c we have f1 all right we have c and we have f1 let me color this um we don't have we have c we have f1 and uh, we have o as well the only thing left is a so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this c f1 as arc o as center and we're gonna put an arc on both the sides to the left as well as to the right to the left we'll get a and towards the right we'll get b something like this please have a careful look at this here 55.51 so this is equivalent to c f1 alright so this is an arc of which I was talking about and I'll again take an arc with OS center arc is CF1 or CF2 this is 55.51 and put an arc alright so somewhere around here we're going to have point B and here we'll have point A how do we do that I'll extend these lines towards these arcs and the intersection point is going to represent point A and point B so here we have point A and here we have point B that's it guys now let us write this as point A and this as point B alright the next thing to do is to apply the method of concentric circles first so I'll be applying the method of concentric circles and for that what I'll be doing is I'll take OS center and CD as diameter and I'll be drawing a circle a semicircle rather alright 
same thing again with OS center and OBS radius or you can see major axis as diameter will draw this that's exactly what I was talking about now here we are going to apply the concentric circles method and for doing so we need to take some, some kind of an arc first so you, you guys can take out your rounders or compass keep your compass over here I'm gonna tell you how this this distance over here is how much this is 55.51 the next thing to do is now take OBS radius alright and with BS center you need to put an arc arc of OBS radius right the next thing to do is again with this as, as the center and with OBS radius and again you need to put an arc over here so this is going to be yet another intersection point between the arc and the semicircle and these guys these guys these two guys are the divisioning points and uh, you can clearly see that it gets di clearly divided into three equal parts alright I'm going to extend this line towards the outer circle alright so that's almost done and the same thing can be repeated in this in this quarter of the ellipse also okay I'm going to mirror this these points that's it now the circle has been divided into six equal the semicircle rather has been divided into six equal parts the next thing to do is to drop vertical lines from these um, what you call the outer circle draw vertical lines now we're going to extend horizontal lines from the inner circle towards these already drawn vertical lines something like this so these will be our points on ellipse and we're gonna join all these points with the help of a smooth curve that's it and finally this is going to be the last point that's it now we can see that we have successfully applied the concentric circles method I'll write over here concentric 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 circles method now to this side of the ellipse I'm going to apply what you call the oblong method of ellipse construction oblong method okay guys so for that uh, I'll be needing some some construction and uh, please have a careful look at this you can set your drafters along this horizontal line make sure that you uh, that screws are tightened and then you can move uh, up ahead towards point C and then down below towards point D and you can draw this rectangle um, uh, inside which we'll be inscribing half ellipse all right and the remaining half will be this and the and the this half over here will be created by this method that is what you call oblong method now for applying the oblong method I don't need this focus over here alright what I really need is dividing this whole line into four equal parts and dividing this line over here also into four equal parts you can do three equal parts also so let us do three equal parts and for doing so what we'll be doing is we will draw a horizontal uh, not a horizontal but rather an inclined line at any suitable angle and then I'll put with this guy as center I'll put an arc of 10 millimeters okay all right now again we will put one more arc now uh, the choice of putting up the arcs depends on the number of divisions now we need three divisions over here for that we need to put three arcs okay so I've already put up two arcs and this is going to be my third arc that's it guys next thing to do is joining the third and the last arc with the end point of this line make sure your drafters are along this line tighten the screw move the drafter parallel towards this line and this line alright that's done and we're gonna I'm gonna clip this 
slightly i don't need this all right okay so this particular section has been divided into three equal parts now we're going to do the same thing over here and for that we are going to draw an inclined line yet again uh, just at any suitable angle problem and we're gonna again put an arc over here an arc of 10 mm or uh, one centimeter you may call it anything all right then one arc then this is the second arc and this over here is the third arc all right guys now let me extend this okay now let us join this third arc with the end point or with the end of this line and now keep your drafters along this line tighten the screw make sure you moving you move the drafter absolutely parallel towards this second arc towards this first arc that's it that's it I'm going to clip the portion which has actually um, come inside this rectangle that's it guys all right <coughs> uh, the next thing to do is to give them some certain uh, nomenclature and for that uh, we have over here uh, as this will be one is two dash all right we're going to join one dash and two dash with C. We're going to join one dash and two dash with C. One dash with C and two dash with C. All right. Next thing to do is we'll join one and two with D. Okay. So the line which connects one and D will extend this line uh, to the C one dash line. Okay that's it and this D2 line will extend this line till it reaches and intersects this C2 dash line and it's gonna intersect somewhere here all right guys now I guess you've understood this concept and uh, the next thing to do is to mirror this po these points down below okay so make sure your drafters are, are absolutely perpendicular and then you can move down below okay then the next thing to do is to take an arc and with this guy as center you need to put an arc over here all right so this arc has to be shifted below okay the same length which is above same length has to be down below now the same thing has to be repeated for this point also all right so here we have it so these are the points on my ellipse and finally I'm going to join all these points this 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 and these points okay all these points with the help of a smooth curve you can make use of a French curve for that um, now you can see that both both methods have been applied this is concentric circles method this is oblong method and there was one more thing which was asked in the problem and that was determine the length of the major axis alright so after do doing all these constructions and all we finally reached where we can find the length of major axis and it actually works out as one 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 point zero two millimeters roughly you can take it as hundred and eleven millimeters or hundred and ten millimeters all right so that's what you call the length of major axis uh, so guys thank you for watching the video and if you have any questions related to this particular problem or any questions pertaining to ellipse or conic sections you can definitely write your comments and questions down below in the comment section and if you really like the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up this is manas patnak signing off see you again with yet another problem based on ellipse. Thank you.